Yeah, we're at High Cliff State Park right now. Uh, what we're doing is we're uh, setting nets out in the north end of the lake. The DNR actually set the nets and they are DNR nets and they run the nets and we take the, they take the fish out of the nets and we bring them back here to the, to the park area. And we um, remove the eggs from the female and remove the milk from the males, mix them together to fertilize the eggs. And then once the eggs are fertilized, we take them over to Berlin. Um, Winnebago walleyes or Winnebago sauger have a very um, mixed past when it comes to reproduction. They don't annually reproduce very well. And sauger nationwide are river fish. They like turbid, stained, dirty water, if you will. And as Winnebago has cleaned up over the years, it's become less optimum habitat for sauger. So we're going to we take these eggs up to Berlin. We're incubating them in our Wally Spurmaro Hatchery. Uh, we have nine hatcheries that we run across the state, so we're pretty good at what we do. We know what we're doing now. And we're going to be taking these when they hatch to Lake Puckaway, which is upstream from the Princeton Dam. The Princeton Dam actually keeps Lake Puckaway being a, a lake. Um, and release them there because it's warm, it's shallow, and it has lots of zooplankton. Zooplankton are what small walleyes and sauger eat until they get about an inch and a half long. Then they, I, I say it's like they, they want to go from the salad bar to the, to the steak bar. Uh, they want something more substantial to eat. So the, hopefully we will get a population of sauger that will run up the Fox River at, to some distance, we have no idea where, spawn there so that we can have a naturally spawning, or better naturally spawning population of sauger.